Here we go. <clears throat> Let's do it. Um, so what I wanted to do here today was do this planet. Um, complete this planet. This is a big story point in like all three Mass Effects. So I wanted to go ahead and play this on stream. Let's see what happens. I already know who I'm taking with me. We're gonna make this work. These are the two. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Yeah, here we go. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Awesome. You've got a clean drop, Commander. All right. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke okay. around. Uh, before we do that, let's upgrade them. I think I want to give him... Yeah, let, let's just make him my tank. Alright, we got that all taken care of. Nope. All right. I think those aren't enemies. I think they're just the weird crab things, right? Yeah, these things are ugly. I'm not gonna kill it though, this is a, its planet. What's the map look like? Okay. Yeah. I'm actually gonna try to avoid it. I don't think they're gonna ding me if I do kill them. Out of the way, you weird crab thing. I'm not trying to kill you guys. Get another one smack in the middle. Oh, right here. Didn't even see him. We're blending in pretty well. Going there. Good morning. How's it going? How are you? How's work going and all that fun stuff? Whoa. Alright, let's get that out of my face. Get rid of that.
one back there. Yep. I'm trying to avoid the crab thing. Uh, they're just kind of in the way. I don't think I have to, I just want to. Enemies over here, holy crap. Pop them. <laughs> Alright, I think I gotta go up. Uh... Alright, yeah, let's do it. No, no, no. Oh great, she's glitched. The mess with my gun. Yeah. That's what's going on. For you to hit him with that. And I'm gonna hit him with that so he don't fall. And yeah, let's just keep him up in the air because it's super fun to do that. Bye. Goodbye. Why's my shot so slow? Hold on. I don't remember my gun being this annoying. Oh, because I switched it off the car pop. Uh, well, if it's going to shoot slower... Change my uh, shots. Let's do the high explosive rounds. It doesn't matter because it shoots so slow. Heat dampening. Let's do optics 10. Karpov shoots fast, but it's not. Yeah, we're gonna put that on. She 
can still go ice. Okay. Hey Star, how's it going? How are you this day? Uh, oh! oh. oh, 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 oh. actually lose one of your companions through the next like three games if you do it a certain way. Oopsies. If you do it a certain way. And I don't really remember it all the way. I just remember that's how it goes on this planet.
things are so tough. Okay. All right, let me read that. Uh, yesterday, last night, I started making your own Twitch video player banners offline on your small laptop, so next year you'll be streaming. Awesome! That is awesome! Yeah, I like messing with the uh, customization on Twitch. Makes for some really fun time to spend, you know, just designing something that you feel like is yours. So that's awesome. Oh, let's get rid of that. What was I using? High explosive rounds, okay. Alright, let's see what else we got. How's my family? My family's doing okay. Um, I think everybody is working today. Um, my wife just went into work. She's doing a physical inventory at her job. So she just left. But yeah, today I'm just feeling not quite like myself. Oh, they're still alive. He's still alive? Yep. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Okay. You must find a way to disable their artillery. I hear you, Liara. Jeez. There's a bunch of enemies up here, though. Like, and shooting rockets at Oh, crap. Alien game? <laughs> yeah. Well, these are. Oh. Uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's hit him with that one. Alright, he's out. Okay, I need her to throw him, and I need to get behind cover. They can die. I can't die. Okay. <laughs> if I die, I gotta go back to before I started all this combat. All right, Liard, knock it off. Just move up. Jeez. Halo is too straightforward. This has so many more decisions and stuff you gotta make. Uh, let's put that there. And of course, you know, powers. Okay, that one's out. Ooh, that looked like a hurt. Pop! There we go. Excellent. That was just about a perfect battle. Still active, gate, override, offline. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. We're ready to go, Shepard. And now the gate's open. Boom. Awesome. Ugh, I wasn't paying attention. That was my fault. Yeah, um... For me, Halo is too straightforward. You go in, kill the one type of alien, and keep going. This has robots and AI and like several different species. Like off the top of my head, there's let's see, Asari, Krogan, Batarian, Volus. Um, oh man, what's that other really ugly one? Then there's Elcor, Hanar, like there's like at least 10 different species I can think of in this game. 
Okay, let's see. There's my ship. <laughs> Bow! He's gone. I'll take a rocket for that. Perfect, two down. I miss playing the uh, other ones though, because this is still the first Mass Effect. I prefer the other Mass Effect games so much more. Oh, you're thinking about the beach? Yeah. Uh, the other Mass Effect games, like I can curve moves around corners and make explosions and stuff. This is, you have to hit them directly. Like, there's no curving shots around the corner. So when I get to the other Mass Effect games, you'll notice a big difference, too. But yeah, the beach does kind of look like uh, that one spot in Halo. I wonder how far back... Never mind, that was beautiful. He just went... Bink! I got him. Got him. Got him. There's something behind us. He's on the ground, I'm not after him. Man, these guys are good when their powers are active. So when I first started the game, um, I had everybody's attack powers off until I got their trophies. Uh, so I just turned all the attack powers back on so they can use whatever powers they want while they're fighting with me. That was the final gate. Our path to the Solarian camp should be clear from here. Okay. Makes it very fun to uh, fight with them when they fight all the way. There's still a guy down there. Can't save it until that guy's gone. And he's gone. Uh, let's check this. Energized plating, that's new. Uh, just damage protection. A higher level. I'm good how I am. He needs that one though. Uh, shield recovery plus 50 shields. Let's put that one on him actually. There we go. Now I can save it. Gotta save it before uh, I die. <laughs> this uh, I like playing on a sanity though. It really makes you have to think about your combat instead of just running in. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Okay. Everybody got something to say about how I do my job. There's the okay. Let's see what's going on. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. So? What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. We are the reinforcements. <laughs> you idiot. You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. <laughs> we couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. 
I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here. It's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No. Oh, God. His Geth are everywhere, and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. Okay. This is his facility. There's no doubt about that. Uh, what kind of research? I don't like this. What's he doing? What, what's he doing? What's Saren researching? Yeah. He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. What? How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Oh, crap! What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan right, problem. Right, 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 right. That's we why... We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population Rex after the upgrade crazy. to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. No. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Nah, I'm gonna cure the Krogan. We are not a mistake. That's what goes on. That's Is he why. Is going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Oh my gosh. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Um... Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. Here we we won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. Okay. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Alright, so, with me, I don't like Ashley. At all. She's a total racist. Like, I'm not even joking. She is... I, I don't like her. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to everybody else I, I really like everybody else even Rex um, and Rex comes off pretty gruff but I actually really like him so I'm going to talk to this him real quick this is right Shepard if there's a cure for the genophage we can't destroy it I understand you're upset but we both know Saren's the enemy here he's the one you should be angry with Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. <laughs> here we go. Alright, um... It's not that simple! This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? Ho <laughs> ho! I just got a trophy called Charismatic. Right, the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. There we go. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. <laughs> there we go. Hey, you know why that worked? Because my blue paragon bar is all the way up. Like, I've maxed out being a good guy. <laughs> that is the only way that works.
cool. Let's take that. I'm surprised you were able to reason with a Krogan. What are you like freaking Solarians, I swear. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. Yeah, I know. This facility is well protected. I think at that part you can get into a fight with him and you end up killing him. I like Rex, I don't want him to die. So Holy crap, okay, I'm not talking to him yet, he annoys me. Krogan that responds to reason. What are you talking about? They're just people! It's rare to see a Krogan accept reason. Uh. You command exceptional loyalty. <laughs> they annoy me, all of them. <laughs> I can understand why he was mad. Unity amp. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kiriki. Just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. You all suck. All of them. Every single one of the Salarians here, they all suck. <laughs> Your request never came through. We'll just have to make do. That much is clear. Uh, Let me see what you have. What little there is. I kind of want to punch him in the head. Luckily, I have to buy this. As you see, I was maxed out on money. Uh, that might be cool to have, but I'll wait. The upcoming battle frightens me. But I know Santa must be stopped. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the real cure to the genophage. Um, I think later in either this game or the next game you actually find the cure. Normally I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well drained. They're just annoying. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. Okay. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. You see, call him by his name, Rex. Don't call him the Krogan. Huh? Ugh. All right. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where, Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Uh, it does sound a bit risky. Is yeah. there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. <laughs> You'll all be killed! It's a good idea, but your people are gonna get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. Oh god, who do I want? We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so uh, fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Oh gosh. Um, I gotta think about this one because I don't remember it. 
Uh, I might send Ashley with them. Uh, I don't like Ashley. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though we are lucky such sacrifices won't. So, yeah, just take Ashley. You know what? Ashley is the one that I don't like, right? So. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Uh. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Okay. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Okay. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeto. What? They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Salarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Ah! Oh. Okay. So I think Vermeer is also the planet where Ashley or Caden dies. So this is the time where I always save Caden, but we'll see how it goes. I don't remember this all the way. Uh Recap Give me the mission. a quick rundown of the plan again. This sounds you are bad. Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. <sighs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Uh, babysit tomorrow. Sure. I can babysit tomorrow. Alright. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal tabs, then get out before it detonates. Okay. Uh, the nuke. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. This is it. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Actually, Once I might rename armed, this. Very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. There you go, Ashley or Kaden. There we go. <laughs> All right. So that's done. Uh, let's go. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. What is it? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. Jeez. You bet, Commander. Alright. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. This is a big point, we are trained man. for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle, 
is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies and bait with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. This is a good speech. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. That was a good speech. I don't care who you are. <laughs> How was my sleep last night? Um, I slept okay. Um, I slept all the way through the night, but I haven't really felt rested. Um, I think my medicine is messing with me a lot, so it's been hard. Alright, so I do want to bring Rex. I still want to bring Rex. Uh, you know what? They, they're they such a good team together, both of these two. I, I love that team when I'm a Sentinel. As a Sentinel, that is like a perfect match. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Uh, yeah, let's go. It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Alright, so what... what did he add? Search for ways to slow to get the fences. Alright, yeah, I'll do that too. Oh, this is... this is it. <laughs> This is like the big planet of this game. Like, <laughs> this is like the biggest decision point in the first game. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. What we got? Williams. Ah! Igor team. Manovai. Teato teams. Move. Uh -oh. Time to get some attention. Ah! Good thing I have my shield up. Where is he? I don't see him. I'm not the best sniper, but I can do a little something. Like that. <laughs> okay, she's just throwing her weird shooting thing. She needs to move. I don't see the sniper. That's my issue. Oh, miss. Yeah, my sniper skills. I mean, my sniper rifle damage is not high. Coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping the guest target. Alright, I see him now. I laid him down, he's not dead. Let's keep moving though. down again. Keep moving. Let me just keep doing this. Now I'm close enough. One shot from these guys kills me because I'm on insanity difficulty, so I gotta play it slow. Even the rocket. That rocket would have really hurt too. Ooh, nice push. Alright, he's down. Bye! He's out. Um, I'll just push him. Oh, Liara lifted him too. That was good. 
There we go. Perfect. See, I like working with both of them. And it's not just for the biotics, it's just, I don't know, they fight pretty well together. So I disrupted their communications. That's only part of it though, right? Keep looking for more opportunities, okay. Because I didn't have to go up there. Is what I'm getting from that. Yeah, I could have went around. Um, I want to go here. Yeah. Something scrambled. They're targeting. You got a shot, Chief Williams. Take the heat off Manavai. Yeah, I like that high explosive rounds. They just make you overheat really quickly. But it works when you have a slow shooting gun. Oh, crap. I could have brought Tally um, to help with these drones, but... I got... Enough... Of my stuff going. So, I can do that. Calling sat strikes. Dayetto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Let's see, what do I want to do? Because I can't... You know what? Let's just stasis them. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. There we go. And warp still works on them too. Like the tech powers in the first one are not super necessary to always have. They help, but I don't feel like I'm losing anything if I don't have them. Ha! Said I like uplink <laughs> disrupt it. I destroyed it by accident. gonna kill me. Get off of me, dude! Ugh! He could one-hit melee me, too. And I got shot in the back on a rocket. See? That's what I'm talking about. One hit. Full health. One hit. And I die. Sanity difficulty. You gotta love it, right? How far back does it push me? Wasn't paying attention, wasn't watching my back. So snipers, rockets, and uh, melee hits can kill me. Oh man, all the way back? That's fine. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. But my shield helps. My barrier. Um, she's bugging me. I'm gonna give her a different weapon. Cause I feel like she's glitched. Like, I feel like she's a little glitched. She's still doing her moves and stuff, but when it comes to shooting, I feel like she's glitched. What am I shooting at? There we go. Coordinated crossfire. Check the long range turrets helping 
Yeah, she's she's totally glitched weapon wise. After this fight, hopefully she'll be glitched right now. Here it comes. I think that one's down. Woo! Took a hit, but it worked. He's up there. Okay. Keep that going. That get sniper is the problem. That one. Got that one. Okay. I'll save it after each one so I don't have to redo the fight scenes again. There's one underneath, so let me get him because I won't be able to save it if I don't. Ooh, that's a big one too. He's down. Nice. Okay. <coughs> Let him burn out. And then I should be able to save it. Ooh. There we go. Let's uh, mark on the map again where I need to go. I want that satellite uplink taken down. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off my line. Okay. Let's give him a shotgun too. Since she's using an assault rifle, he could do some up close fighting for me. There we go. I think these guys left me. Perfect. Nope, none of them had a rocket launcher. Where am I? I'm gonna keep going this way. Oh, it's oh, changed up. What's strikes. going on? Diego, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I can't have my back covered. Well, I'll take that out. Nice, they got the satellite uplink. So that's what I want it. There's a guy back here. Alright. Got it. Alright. That's my back cover. Now we just gotta start moving up. The coordination I gotta do in this is just. You'd think a sniper rifle is stronger in my hands, but it's not. It's definitely this pistol.
Excellent. Oh, perfect. He's out. There's the Krogan. We gotta get that Krogan. He's about to rush me too. Nope. Hold up. Got him. That was what needed to be destroyed. Okay. Uh, more ways, okay. We're almost through, so let's do the refueling station. Save it. The aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bump her up before they come back. Switch my weapon helped. I need to take that thing out. So let's go up, forward, and to the right. Here we go. That's a definitely a Gup Destroyer, though. Okay, if you want to just stand there, we can do that. You're still going down. Can I hit him from here? No. Nope. Okay, he's out. Oh man, I I love this game though. Like I don't I don't know what it is. Oh my god! Now I'm kind of wanting a tech person. Uh... One rocket! I freaking hate that. Good thing I saved it though, right? One rocket. That's all it takes. One rocket, one sniper shot, one slip up, and I'm dead. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, that's all it takes. Insanity difficulty, they make sure you take some damage when you're fighting. Alright, let's try that again. Everybody still got the right weapons? Okay. The aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bump her up before they come back. I can do this again. Here we go. I don't think that guy's gonna come for me yet. So let's go and I'll still stasis him. Cause he shoots rockets. All headshots. There's the other one right here. Oh, he flew away. Oh well. <laughs> All right. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Like saving every couple steps might seem like a bit much, but when you die in one hit, it, it makes total sense. Okay, there's the rocket. Another rocket. Holy crap. I want her to do that and I'm gonna throw this out there. Woo! That was good. Ah! Oh! Get the flyers destroyed. Keep an eye out for more ways. Okay, so there's something else I can do. I'm actually gonna head this way just to see if there's something over there I don't know about. I 
hate the way he runs. It's <laughs> it's so funny though. All right, let's see. What's that up there? Loot. I always take loot. Ooh. Where's my pistol? High explosive rounds. X. Ten. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's even stronger. What you got going on? No, he took him out. That's what I like to see. Whoa. I think the Kroken's dead, but this one is Perfect. He's gonna fly too far and he's not gonna die, so I'm gonna stop him. There we go. I don't see anything else. So let's hit this part here. There should be something to destroy over there. Man. Let's save it again. As you see, I'm 45 hours into this game, and this is just the first one. The people who already beat the whole Legendary Edition, they rushed it. 100%. Woo! This is not a good spot. This is not a good spot. Um, I need to leave. Let's go around. We need to go around. Wait, no, this is the way. Oh, crap. Okay, never mind. Well, back and off, help. Definitely help. Nice. The Kroken Warrior. Oh! That was beautiful. Got him. Who's shooting? Who's shooting right here? He's still alive. Get that one. Where is he? He's gonna take a shot at me because they always aim for me. I just pressed the wrong button. Um, again. Okay. You head pat the ducks for me? <laughs> I appreciate it. Actually, I wonder if that's one of my channel point things. I should I should make a custom one that says head pat or head pat the ducks. <laughs> I might do that later. So here's the problem. That side quest isn't done yet. Facility entrance and facility entrance. Uh, 
I'm curious. Secret. This looks secret. I'm gonna save it just in case it's the actual way in. But this looks secret. That looks secret. <coughs> I should tell Alu for his rewards, head pack ducks or cat, yeah. Totally should. Um let me see. I'm actually gonna look this up. I, I don't like to, but I've beaten this game before. Uh, so I actually want to make sure I got everything. Oh, disable the AA guns. So I have to go inside, I think. So that's the main one, destroy. Um, Vermeer. Okay. I'm gonna look this up just to make sure I got everything. Disrupt communication, destroy, destroy the flyers, disable alarms. We're entering the base either by the sewers or the warehouse entrance. Okay. So there's some consoles, okay. So I'm gonna go in through the sewers cause that looks a little bit more secret. You know, it didn't, I didn't walk in through the front door. That's all I needed to see, that it's somewhere in here. Woohoo! Indoctrinated, what? Open that door back up. That is not good! Get it, Liara! There we go. So this. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarm from the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. They've got enough trouble. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Alarms disabled. Okay. I think once you do that, that should be all of it. for me um what does liara need nope not that that's weak the sauce is actually weak that is the weakest sauce I got me a bunch of guns. They're probably not stronger than the stuff I already got, but... Okay, first off, nobody likes you. Second of all, you stop moving. I'm talking to this guy. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have to use that menu too much in this game too. I prefer the combat in Mass Effect 3 for sure, but I think 2 even has better combat. It's hilarious. Okay, this seems important. I'm gonna save it again. Because I can open up all these locks. Oh no, I can't. He's indoctrinated. That's not good. What do you want? I told you everything. I. Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Uh oh. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savada of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Are you fit to fight? Uh, what happened what to you? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something is not right here, Shepard. I can't just leave him. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you he's know? He's being indoctrinated. I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Let's see what happens. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following order. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? Simple. Yep. Woo! Man, these guys went crazy. It's sad, but I had to do it. I couldn't leave them in there. It's not how I roll. Okay, where am I? I want to go to the genophage labs. That's where I want to go. This is more stuff to help Rex. Uh, let's push him. Let's, uh, I'll have Liara lift that one. There we go. He's down. He's down. Give him a little ground, Williams. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Boom. I don't know what it gave me a 7. I don't take anything under 9 or 10 at this point. Where, where does this take me? That takes me one way. Where does this take me? This is the other way in? Yeah, this is the other way in. Hello? Is someone out there? Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try to free them next. Even if they attack me, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Big boy! Boink! What you hit him with? What you hit him? Uh oh, uh oh! There you go. Easy now. 
crap! I gotta take, I gotta stop that destroyer. There's another one! Got him. Woo! Alright, this is the way outside, I think. Okay, where am I? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We are good. Um, that's the way back outside. That's why it's not opening. Um, full health. I'll still activate that because I'm not coming back here. Everything clear on this side. Now we got to free the guys below, which I know which way to go to do that. Hello? Is someone out there? He sounds okay. So we go down here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Nothing too crazy. Let's save it. Whew! This mission, ay, 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 ay. Well, you're not a Gath. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imness of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. Yep. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything wrong. Others died during the experiments. I envied them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. I think I can trust you. I'm opening your cell. But then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Okay. He's good. <clears throat> they are no threat to anyone save themselves. Their minds are gone. Ah, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but to leave them like this. Save for to keep them there, open the door and kill them, let them Open out. the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure? We should at least end this state here. Uh, save for to keep them here, eliminate them. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well, Commander Shepard. Okay. I can't even interact with that one. That's sad. That's super sad. Yeah. So, I mean, that's as best as I'm gonna get. That's as good as it's gonna get. They get a chance to run. Okay. Holy crap. Yeah, this planet is so serious. This is like the biggest part of the game. Of this game. Okay, how do I get over there? I'm in cell block B. I need to go back to maintenance? Maybe. Maybe there's a door I missed. I feel like I'm missing something though. 
Did I go that way? Yeah, I already came in through that way. Okay, I'm missing something. Let's go back up. There's only one door all the way through here. I fought all these guys already. You go down here. Pop this door open. Oh, I'm blind right here. It's an elevator. Okay, that's what I want. Ooh, I can't save it. That's not good. Ooh, there we go. Now I can save it. I want to save it. This looks weird. These are husk. That hurt. Yo, scientist chick, you better stop running at me. What is going on here? Where are the guards? Where is Sam? No. Stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. Ooh. You will not destroy the work we have started. Um, I need some powers. All my powers are disabled. That sucks. Uh, push. I don't know the name of this weird <coughs> idiot Krogan, but uh, let's find out. Genophage lab? Yes, yes it is. Okay. I got you, man. All right. Woo! So much fighting. Shield. Uh, let's have some fun. Let's lift you. And then, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get the ankle just right. Fire! Woo! He's gone. Look at him. I glitched him. There it goes. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> so that's the way to go. I gotta go in here first. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Calm down. Not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. What are you talking about? I thought this was a breeding facility. 
Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Oh, man. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. Uh, collateral what damage? What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. I gotcha, I gotcha. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Oh. Indoctrination is subtle. By that's the right, that's right. Noticeable. It's usually too late. Uh, tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Okay. Um... You're free. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. <laughs> you better just start running. I'm not gonna save you. Okay, she said she gave me all of his files. Okay, so what I want to do is, holy crap, I got so much stuff. Give me that crossfire. No, I don't want that. I don't want that pulse. Alright, so I'm going to start get, getting rid of the nines. I don't need any nines anymore. Um, I got enough tens that are coming through where I'm just gonna have a ten and get rid of everything else. Okay. Yep. Let's get rid of all of these, okay? Mm, my sniping wasn't that great anyway. Give me that one. I want that one. Like the damage, I mean. That's strong. Okay. Um. Yep. She's getting that. Hundred percent. Uh, and Liara gets this one. The other really strong one.
Nope. Nope. All right. So what I want to first do is. Let's get rid of one of these tsunamis. Should go take a crossfire. That's fine. And what does Rex want? Or I said a crossfire, a pulse rifle. Let's give him the other pulse rifle. Oh wait, no, 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 no. No. That pulse one, I forgot, doesn't let you keep all your fancy stuff. So I'll leave him alone. I've been getting so many guns, holy crap. You can have that one though, for sure. Liar, which one do you want? Yeah. Too many tsunamis. There we go. All right. Good to go. I think this is uh, it for where I go for now. How do I get to the breeding facility though? I think I had a good save point, right? Right here. Let me just make sure. I'm gonna save it here. Um, and I'm gonna go forward. If I can't get back to the breeding facility, I'm gonna reload it. <coughs> Woo -hoo. It's another beacon. Some beautiful eyes, don't I? Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to tear this whole place down. Okay, calm down. There is something foul in the air here. Yeah, it is. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. Uh-oh. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? No. Elementary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. It is not. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper? A 
label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there, it's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. <coughs> I don't stand alone. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. So why'd you make them? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent, free of all weakness, you cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Here he comes! Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. Oh, uh, crap! This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? We're done Let's here. Head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the new. Ooh! I love, I love the conversations with the Reapers. That makes you go, oh! <laughs> oh man! So uh, you find out who the big bad guys in the universe are, basically at that part, and now it's coming after you. Oh! That was rude! Nice! And bang! And bang! Okay. <laughs> yeah, you find out that, uh... Ooh. So now, I'm coming up on the part where I have to choose who lives and who dies. I already know who I'm gonna let live, but it's still gonna be interesting to see that part. Oh crap, this is bad. Um, let's just throw that out there. See if I hit something. Looks like I did. 
How long does it take for this move to reach? Let's find out. Boom! Get him out of there! Get him out of here! Okay, he's dead. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. I'm just gonna charge in. Straight first. Just pop and pop! Pow! 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 Where's the other? Pow! 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 <laughs> it worked! I can't believe that worked! I just walked straight through. This is such a good team. Like, having Liar and Rex on my team. Well, the way I fight. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna save it again. This is where it gets real. It's about to it's about to go down, Star. I'm just letting you know. Oh, the music stopped too. But let's let's open some stuff first. Let's not forget why we came here. We always come here for the loot. Every RPG, we come here for the loot. <laughs> Here's another one. There we go. Is there any new armor that I can use? That's what I want. I want new armor. All of the armor they keep giving me that I can actually wear is weak, though. That's fine. I think Rex can wear something. Nope. Rex can't even wear anything. That sucks. Alright. Let's go. Here we go. This is the big moment. Yep. Right up here at the top. the sniper who's the sniper I can't even see him oh it was a drone oh no it's that ugly thing I hate those how accurate am I nope it doesn't go that far okay I gotta get covered those things will kill me real quick Rex I need you up front I'm gonna push him out of here because he started charging me. Alright, he's off the map? Yeah, he's off. He's gonna die. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Excellent. Let's go. Uh oh. We got ourselves a drill hunt. And a bomb right in front of me. Almost got hit by that rocket. That's another rocket drone. Um, what can I do? What can I do? Stasis. What can she do? She can stasis too. I can do damage with my stasis though. Yeah, he's not gonna take any damage from me. Cause it's her stasis. Okay. What I need to do, what I need to do. I need to prep some stuff. There we go. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Perfect. Ooh, okay. Let's keep going. This is, this is rough. Turret controls deactivate. That is what I'm supposed to do. That is gonna start everything. So let me do this. Okay. You just checking out the duckies. They're fine. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Oh. That's a pistol I like. Oh, it's not stronger though. Alright, the music stopped. This is it. Let's save it again. <clears throat> Who's attacking? They're following. They're 
followed it. Where you at? Where you at? Pop your head up. Right there. Okay, we need to cause some disruption up in here. More? Go. Now they can't shoot, but we can just do damage. Now it's our turn. No, I want you to push them. hilarious okay I love that okay what is this destroy final AA gun I think we just hit the button yep <laughs> I like just sending enemies in an orbit <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was great. All right, let's do that. No, but okay, we need a little. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Here we go. Ah, oh, crap! I hate those ones. Uh, that one. There you go. <laughs> All right, that one's down. That the other one. Can we actually hit him from here? I think I need to get closer. Okay, I can hit this one for sure. Okay, let's see. Let's hit him with that one. Hey, what's up, Richard? How's it going? <laughs> You're about to watch like a big, serious part of the first game. This is like the most one of the most important parts of the first game, this whole planet. So you're coming up on the end of it, I think. This Talk is where you set. find Everyone out what the big Bunker bad down. enemy is in the universe and what's going on. Yeah, this is like a huge part. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, all right. Nice work. That's one Kay. less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. <laughs> I'm such a welcome break from the sciences. I appreciate that. Woo! That was weird. I can't see it. I hear it. Oh, okay, there we go. I appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is it. Look, this part is so important, I might make a second save. <laughs> I usually play everything on one save. You know what? No, I'm gonna just run it. I'm gonna just run it. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? I read you. The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Uh. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Oh, man. Up to the AA tower. Move. Oh, here we go. So, that's why you lose both of them on this part. Because once I'm all done, I have to pick who lives and who dies. Now, it's an easy choice for me because I don't like Ashley. Ashley is a racist who talks really bad about all other aliens. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
this team is good to me, so I'm gonna keep it going. These guys have been really good to me. What I wanna do is change up her stuff though a little bit. Okay, she's still good. Um, I'll give her that. Yeah, the, this team is so strong, in my opinion. Just because of how I play. I think if I played using a different class, I wouldn't use the team I'm using. But when you find a good match, it's, it's just really good. And I like using biotic powers. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Burmeyer Salt. There we go. So now I'm supposed to kind of save... Ashley. Where am I going? Which way am I going? This way. I went, I, I went past it. That's my fault. Here we go. Okay, first off, you hit that. There we go! Let's just, let's just let him know what's up. Okay, he's being difficult. Let's, uh, show him why I don't like it when people are difficult. Got him! Got him! Where's the other one? Oh, she missed! Oh no, that's wrong, that's wrong. Right there! Make him fall over! Yeah! Ow! <laughs> that's right! See? Such a good team! <laughs> Am I planning to survive? Of course I'm planning to survive. I never die. What are you talking about? I didn't die earlier. <laughs> to a rocket to the back? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Man, this whole planet is crazy. Okay. Let's get some of this, because we always want the loot. They keep giving me money, and I'm maxed out on money. Like, I'm maxed out. You see all the nines at the bottom of the screen? I'm maxed out on Omni Gel, which is used for shortcuts and repair and stuff, and uh, money. They can't give me any more. Oh, crap. Heads up, LT. Just walk into your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. How bad is it? Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenko, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. Here's the here's the it's choice. Time, Commander, go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Here's the choice. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. You can't choose to save both of them, no matter what. Somebody has to die here. And I don't like Ashley, so... <laughs> Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. Oh man, this story, man. I freaking love it. Alright. So now I gotta go back and save him. Did I summon it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Stupid slow elevator. I'm trying to save somebody's life here. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. I I absolutely love this game. Um, should I make a second save now? <laughs> Hi, Linda. How are you? <laughs> I'm just goofing off playing video games. Alright, what do we got? Okay, yeah, they're pinned down. Just a little bit. Oh, big rocket boy, big rocket boy. Woo! Oh my gosh, yeah, they were they were significantly pinned down. Let's throw out there, a little bit there. Uh -huh. Oh, Geth Prime! Alright, so first off, let's uh, just stop him from walking at us. He's getting too close. Oh, okay! Woo! Lay him back down. There's one over there. Got that one. Uh-oh. Woohoo! Who did it? Perfect! Man, these guys are good! Alright, that one's there. Uh. Woo! I just got a trophy called Soldier and I don't even remember why. Because I'm that good? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I love this game. Oh. Where we at? Where we at? Oh! Don't get sniped! Okay, the shield saved me. <laughs> I I just love this this whole story. And like this is the first game and I have a ton of fun with the first game, but the combat in the other games are so much better. Like uh the move where I push them, you can actually curve that around corners and stuff. And there's explosions and yeah. Okay, Ashley's dead. <laughs> Holy crap! He said Bioshock Collection. Three games for $9.99? Oh, that does sound good. I, applaud you, I never played Bioshock. I guess though. we're utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. <laughs> you said, dude, it's so worth it? <laughs> I think. <laughs> Alright, you'll stream it after Final Fantasy VII. Okay, yeah, I'll totally watch. <laughs> yeah, so he... I know the story behind him. He seems like he's the real big bad guy in this one, but you learn that the Reapers are the big bad guy. So, let's we'll see. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed trillions dead oh but what man. if they had bowed before the invaders would the protheans still exist a submission not preferable to extinction it's not that simple is what i'm gonna say you said uh, my siblings played bioshock nice <laughs> yeah so this is still the first mass effect um almost i'm almost 50 hours in and this game like the combat is good as you can see like when I'm having it when I'm playing it I'm having fun but the combat in the other two games is so much better like so much better do you really believe the Reapers will let us live now you see why I never came forward with this to the council we organics are driven by emotion instead of logic we will fight even when we know we cannot win but if we work with the Reapers, if we make oh, ourselves man. useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. 
though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. But it's not working, is it? <laughs> you said it did your great story so good. Yes. Oh. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah, I... I love the story of this game, and I hear Bioshock has a really good story too. Um. So yeah, I, I might end up picking it up. Um. But, yeah, Mass Effect, oh my gosh, like, I fell in love with the first game, and then they just kept improving. This is, like, one of my favorite Bioware series ever. <laughs> You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Uh -huh. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. You don't know if it's happening to you. That's the whole point. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. I the pinnacle yeah. of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. <laughs> they are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Oh, gosh. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop him. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. But you are, you idiot. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find <laughs> the Conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Okay, let's do this 100% good option, which is join me. Let's Together see what we happens. can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. <gasps> we can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. Oh my god, There is no crazy. other logical conclusion. Yes, yeah, all same stuff. You betrayed the council, you're a coward. How can you do this? <laughs> you were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Yes, you Don't are. You see? <laughs> Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization. All right, let's fight. Annihilation. And for that, Die. There we go. Woohoo! Cool, he's on like some crazy spaceship. Um Let's hit him with that first. All three of these moves at the same time. Let's go. What my move didn't go off. There we go. Oh crap! There's guys on the ground. That's not good. We need better cover than this because they're circling us. That one's down. Let's put the shield back up. What we got? There are so many enemies here. Holy crap. Uh, perfect. Okay, I got a couple helpers.
Man, he's like dodging me and everything. I'm connecting on all these shots. Uh oh. All it takes is one good hit and I'm dead. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna make him sit still again and we're just gonna lay into him. There we go. <laughs> I got so overpowered when I got that ability. <laughs> me that's right and yeah my eyes go black when I have the barrier on me so if you ever see that in the cutscene it's supposed to look like that I saved Caden but Ashley's dead <laughs> Everybody, hang on! Nice. And that's the sad face of, oh no, somebody died. Oh, yeah, absolutely love it. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. There we go. We just leave her down there. Another trophy, Cal Council Legion of Merit. <laughs> it was you or her. The mission can't fail. She was. Good Williams soldier. knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? Because <laughs> I don't like her, but I can't say that. <laughs> it wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job. You wouldn't have had to make that call. You're still blaming it yourself. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Yeah. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Okay, do it. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Boom! I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. What did you see? Hurry up. This is important. What did you see? Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos. Nice. That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. Okay. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus system. I don't care. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits on Ilos? That's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. 
Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. <laughs> I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Okay. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Yeah, let's do Set it. Set the link up, Joker. We'll see they what happens. They get on my nerves. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Here we go. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Why don't you believe me ever? Sovereign's a reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Uh, I'm very tempted to say don't be stupid, but... <laughs> Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. Okay. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Can I kick you in the head? God! I hate reporting to the council. <laughs> I do it because I should do it, but I don't like doing it. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ted, um, you're tired of it, honestly. You gotta study. A lot still for sciences and tomorrow after exam. It's a long nap. <laughs> Take a long nap. Yeah, Skyrim is great. Um, I've never. I don't think you can actually beat Skyrim. You could just finish like different story arcs. Commander, I always end up turning into a werewolf I know and just it running around. For you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. <laughs> I won't be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. <laughs> yeah, you missed all the action. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, you missed all the crazy action that was going on <laughs> oh man I'm like trying to get everybody to cope through losing a team member and everything on at this part alright let's see let's talk to Caden next cause he's probably still blaming himself Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, sir. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. You were working in the rain? <laughs> I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anymore. Anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? Uh, I grieved later. They did their duty. I it was my better. job to get everyone out safe. I failed. 
I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, sir. Uh, look for personal input? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can okay. count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in all of them? Oh, the flying Please, alien? The so one that I sent so in the, like, intelligent. orbit? <laughs> oh, that one was hilarious. <laughs> fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Anything so old, so intelligent, we'll beat them. Just do the job. They're old, all right. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. <laughs> we'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? <laughs> this is my room, but there's never anything to do in my room. Not in this game. I think in the... I think in the third game, you get, like, collectible ships and stuff that you can put in your room. Alright, let's save it here. Because I'm trying to woo her. I'm trying to woo her. <laughs> Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Um, I kind of do too. I forgot that he was indoctrinated and he didn't know it. He's become a slave to the Reapers and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Mm. I don't think... Uh... I don't think it really matters. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. <laughs> I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. And that's what she says when you're when you've exhausted all her conversation stuff. So. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. So she's done. I think the only place I have to go now is their team is rescued. Oh, they're in the bottom. Okay, so I need to go back to the Citadel now basically but I'm gonna go to the docking whatever this is called what is this called no I don't even know what this part of the ship is called cargo bay docking bay I don't know I don't even remember what this part is called okay let's see there are the solarians <laughs> it's your fault you showed up at the wrong time. <laughs> it was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Okay. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. <laughs> Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. 
<laughs> Something we work for, let me. <laughs> let me see what you have. Oh man, let's see what he says. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. <laughs> Not you, but somebody Respect does. Choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. I will always keep you alive, Saren Rex. has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. Okay. So long, Rex. Shepard. Alright, so Ashley always stood here. Let's do this little run around. Oh, she's gone. I don't really care. She annoyed me. <laughs> Commander, I wanted to thank you. You always say this. I'm done. I don't have time for this. <laughs> oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Commander. All right, let's see what she has to say. Hey, Shepard. You need something? No, nope, we're good. I should go. See you later. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty much closing up on the end of this game. I think Elios might be the last planet. So let's uh, go to the Citadel, see what's going on. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's always something. I hate talking to the council though. I do it after every mission though, just because I think it gives it gets me brownie points, but they annoy me. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his gaff. Okay. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, sure, we can play uh, Hood or Monster Hunter. I am totally open to that. Are you picking up Solara tonight? See what they gotta say. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking oh, okay. Citadel cool. space to the Terminus systems. Uh, patrols are stationed at every... okay. Yeah, that's not enough. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. <sighs> now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. You're stupid just like the Council! <laughs> what about the Conduit? What about the Reefers? Send me out. One after. ship going into the Terminus Systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Oh, command. God. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Oh, you pissed me off so bad. <laughs> Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. <sighs> and then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. I hate these guys so much. Then you're all fools! If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. No. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. 
Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Really? You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Oh, you guys all suck. I hate you all. Can I throw something? Can my character throw something? Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. And doom the galaxy. <laughs> I kind of want to say that. Oh. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> I believe in you too. <laughs> What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Nice. You should probably go meet with him. Always take her. Let's take uh, Garrus. Let's take Garrus. I like Garrus. <laughs> She's the one I romanced through all three games. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior so. atmosphere. I'm not really worried about it. I just the find that funny. Officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Can I shoot? Can I shoot this mechanic in the head? Well, let me do it. Let me shoot him. Ah. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. He has no power over me. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Ugh. All the politics bug me. All right, let's see. Um, he said meet him in flux. Let me check and see if there's something I can buy first. Actually, those gears. Perfect. Boom. Ooh, that one lights up now. Fancy. He got all fancy on me. No, not that gun. I don't like that gun. The Karpov isn't strong enough for me? What about her? No? I guess you're getting a Karpov. Whoopsies. 
That actually looked like it was good for him. <laughs> yeah. Alright. <sighs> Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Alright. Um, yeah, let's just go to the bottom, it's fine. Oh, that's... Oh, this is all weak garbage, except this stuff. This stuff is actually really good. Uh, let's take a look at that pistol, actually. Hmm. I'll probably start picking that stuff up soon, though. I don't want to just start spending my money, because I have maxed out stuff. I'm not that worried about it. Alright, let's keep the story going. Let's get out of here. Get into the club. Binary Do Helix some dancing. Is settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. <laughs> All right, let's go. No, we're not talking to him. I need to talk to the news reporter if she's standing there. I don't see her. Excuse me. You're the specter, right? Who's this random guy calling me out? Say, gonna do something finally. <laughs> Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. All right. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? The appeasers? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I freaking hate all these stupid races. <laughs> I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. <sighs> what are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space. But you can't have stayed in any one subtle system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Oh, Political, God. culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable. But some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. What you say? What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. You might get punched We've heard in the that mouth. before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You're an idiot. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. 
I'm glad you support the democratic process, Edley. Thank you for your time, Commander. Uh. Remember Terra Pharma on Election Day, because Terra Pharma remembers you. Ah, uh, I kind of want to kick that guy. Can I kick him? Can I kick him? I have to work the crowd. Maybe we can do lunch sometime. Uh, I wish you could just shoot people. Okay, well, anyway, where am I supposed to be going? Uh, oh, the stairs. That's right, the stairs. Oh, I want to shoot that guy right in the face. Hey, pardon me, soldier. Can I take a moment of your time? Another one? Jeez. These people can't leave me alone, can they? Here, I keep not upgrading him. I need to upgrade him really quick. <laughs> yeah. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Okay. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. Wrong. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I want to say cut the act. Let's say cut Don't the Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. No. It's legal, but restricted. No. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. No. <laughs> what is this stimulant exactly? <laughs> oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing no. gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, <laughs> why don't you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. Oh, this if I don't guy. Need a stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Oh, wow. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. Oh my god, again? Show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. Oh That's my god. Yeah, forget my assistant. I totally want to punch humans in the face in this game. Every freaking time. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. <laughs> there are billions don't of credits do at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Uh. You should put some trust in your assistant. Yeah, I said that part you already. It's fine, though. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the <sighs> Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. Yeah. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. You're an addict. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Then the I don't game see is all wrong. the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You need help. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, <laughs> and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll, I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired. I wish my nerves aren't hurting so bad. Just need one more oh, boost. God. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right, uh... I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. There we go. Alright. I better get out of my face. All these people keep stopping me to say something stupid. Ah, oh, he's dancing again! Let's go! Captain Anderson at uh, ah, he's sitting down. Jenna I'm waiting for someone else. You've been waiting for someone else for the longest time. Alright. 
I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. Now I know how you felt. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. No? You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. Not that There's simple. only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What happens to you? We steal the Normandy. You're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Okay. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Thank you. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Uh... You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. Okay. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. Uh-huh. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Ah! Let's do break into his office because it's not as bad as fighting Citadel Control because then you have all the races looking at you instead of just Udina. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. Thank you. The Ambassador has made this personal. <laughs> you ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yes! Let's do it. All these stupid I'll take humans. Care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. I love it. Alright. Oh! Okay. What is the assignment? Okay. I like that club actually. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Dingus over here. I have to work the crowd, Commander. Maybe we can do lunch sometime. Never. I want to check on the doctor over here because she always had issues with people whenever I came here. Let's see. She's probably fine. Yep, you're my meta jail. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Nope, I'll be you're going good. now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking. That's all I wanted to know. I got a fast travel anyway. Alright. Let's save it. Um You know what? I, I'm worried about the fast travel because sometimes it makes the game crash. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Actually, I don't need to fast travel. I just need to go down the stairs and up the elevator. That's actually the fastest route. But, you know, less risk of the game wanting to crash.
remembrance of Eden Prime, we present Plus another get profile these in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden uh -huh. Prime. For more Eden profiles Prime. in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. There we go. Alright. He told me to just go back to my ship. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. I don't remember 100%. I was kinda listening. I was also In getting my medicine. News, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nobody's there. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. And it crashed. <laughs> 